Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning I wanted to go through delays and durations. And the reason I wanted to go through this is that in a Small Talk system, just like any other system, it's quite common to have processes that need to wake up periodically, do some tasks, and then go back to sleep. Now we'll get into creating processes with Fork later on. Right now I just wanted to go through the duration and delay aspect of this. A duration is a simple little object. You see here I have class duration. And I can create a duration for milliseconds, for minutes, for seconds, for weeks. And all this will do is give me a duration of time that I can then use in some other class like delay with the convenient four milliseconds kind of thing or four seconds kind of thing. So I can create a delay for some set of milliseconds or some set of seconds. And I can get the exact time I want easily with a duration. So I'll do something like this. I want a duration of 10 seconds. And then I'm going to say I want to show the current timestamp so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm using date and time now to get that. And then I'm going to say delay four milliseconds, the thing I got out of my duration. You know, so I got created a duration of 10 seconds, then I'm duration as milliseconds to get the milliseconds timestamp out of that. And then I hand that to delay. So you can see how this works. So I go ahead here and do an execute on this. Now up here I'm just printing, and actually I can't make it current because well, Windows is kind of locked up on this based on the way things work in VA Smalltalk. But after 10 seconds, this will wake up. And you see I started there, started there. And you can see basically I've got my 10 second gap. And I can do the same thing here using seconds directly. So I can go in, if I didn't want to use a duration, I just said I know I want to delay for 5 seconds. I can use the 4 seconds API here in delay and go ahead and create a delay for 5 seconds, 10 seconds, whatever I want. The nice thing about duration is sometimes you have something where you want to set up an ongoing process in something like a server and you want to have it wake up every day or every 12 hours or every you know 10 minutes or whatever you want and you can create a duration for that specific gap using a convenient API, hand that to delay and then have your process wake up every n intervals, do whatever it's supposed to do and go back to sleep. So these two classes kind of work together in a lot of cases and this is pretty easy to use and to get gaps that are not within the simplicity of this API. It's pretty easy to do some trivial math and get what you want. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.